This is a Sun Ultra One. Uh, it's a 1995 computer based on a 64-bit UltraSpark CPU. This particular unit has 200 disks, both of which are whopping 2 gigabytes of capacity. It also has a half a gig of RAM, and I'm installing OpenBSD 6.2 on it. Uh, to see how it looks like, uh, out of my curiosity, to see how Unix looks like and generate to get a feeling of how um, this thing works. So, as you can see, I am communicating with it through a terminal. That's because I don't have a monitor nor keyboard that fits this computer, as this is not a PC, it's uh, very far actually from being a PC. Mm. It has a frame buffer card, it generates the output for the monitor. So about the serial terminal, uh, uh, it uh, by default, the, the BIOS, the open firmware, open BIOS, uses a 9600 baud um, serial console on serial port A, and so uh, does uh, the OpenBSD installer by default. I already had a RS232 TUART converter board, which you can see on the video, and so it was just a matter of connecting your uh, box standard regular CP2102 uh, USB TUART converter to communicate with it, and those things, those tiny uh, sticks are pretty robust. Uh, if you don't have one, I suggest you get one, because they are very very useful, not only while working with old stuff like this, Because this computer is uh, about 23 years old now, but the built in battery that and RAM chip, uh, this is a, a kind of a chip that older computers used uh, that had a real time clock inside and a couple of bytes uh, that were writable uh, by, the, by the BIOS and the system. So uh, it was very often used to store some, some parameters. For example, the MAC address of the Ethernet card is stored in there, and that's why it warns uh, that the uh, contents are invalid, so uh, I did not set up uh, networking on this thing. Right now the only communication between this and the external world is uh, via this uh, funny serial cable. I had to make a white serial to regular serial adapter because no one is uh, no one is selling white serial cables nowadays. I do quit. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think ls uh, It's kind of funny how actually this. Uh, 9600 baud uh, serial terminal behaves. Uh, how the actually cursor flies uh, from the top to the bottom of the terminal. Well, let's see. Uh, demask. Is that a command? Yes. Demask to add uh, uh, N or C? N, I think. N40. Yeah. So that's not how it usually looks like. I'm um, usually it just, I mean, on regular Linux terminals, it just appears, and it took a considerable, considerably long amount of time to actually uh, finish this command. So, uh, yeah, obviously, the computer is running its command hmm, in absolutely no time. But uh, the time it takes to actually transmit the output of the command via the serial cable. Uh, via the 19, uh, 9600 baud link uh, to the terminal that is running here. Uh, yeah, you can see it's, it looks quite funny, actually. Um, I'm definitely gonna see that when we install stuff like MC. I wonder if MC is installed by default in OpenBSD? No, it's not. Oh, I've got KSH, this K shell. 
interesting. Halt. Let's see if that command works. Looks like it is. Yeah, so that's all for today. Uh, I just go ahead and halt it. And we're good to go. Program terminated. And we're back at the BIOS. So, uh, power. That was the BIOS command, I think. Power off. Yes. So, see you next time, I think.